If you want to cut down on the time that you spend on repetitive tasks, you are certainly not alone. This video will go through how to set up email automation in your Bookable account, so you can do just that. Start by clicking into the settings panel from the sidebar menu and click into emails. The first field that you will see is where you can enter in all of the email addresses of your team that you would like to receive a copy of all outgoing emails. This is really useful, for example, to notify your team as online orders come through as sort of an email notification. As an option, you can leave this blank. Now we can scroll down to our automatic email templates. So this is all of the emails that Bookable will send on your behalf to your customers automatically, which you can, of course, edit. You can make sure that send online order confirmation is switched on and scroll down to webshop confirmation. This is the most important as this will be the confirmation email the customer will receive automatically at every order placed on your store. This is made up of free text that you can edit and add to. Um, here I have added in my link for a review for the customer's leave a review and some terms and agreements, but you can also remove and add to uh, this email with variables. So variables, as you can see from the link here, are the little lines of code that you can populate your emails with. So these are all of the information that will change based on the customer and their order. So obviously every email notification, uh, email confirmation rather will have a different order price, a different order discount, different customer name, um, different company name, um, different maybe employee variables. Maybe you wanna have the employee that sent the email uh, filled out automatically on this uh, email. So you can add and remove all of those from this email as you like. And if you'd like to change the formatting, for example, uh, you can click the Markdown Styling. So Markdown Styling is a guide where you can change how your headers appear, the images, the footnotes, the tables, line breaks, um, how you would like your block quotes. So that's more of the styling which you can change. Save all of the changes and go back into your emails and you can repeat this process for all of the automatic emails. Now with each order that is placed online, your customers will automatically receive a copy of these uh, emails to their inbox with all of their unique order and customer information. Now down to the manual email templates. So manual emails are the templates that you can send to your customers on the spot whenever you need to. So they are found in your order screen. For example, when you click open a new or existing order, you send email and they appear in the drop down menu here. They automatically fill out with all of the customer's unique uh, order and customer information and you can send them in a click of a button. So even though it's a manual process of sending, uh, it saves a lot of time as it's just a few second process rather than writing out a whole new email. So of course you can adjust these based on uh, everything we've gone through. For example, you want to add in your own information, some links, some variables, markdown styling. But what most people like to do is actually add extra email templates, which I will do. So click add email template and name the template with what your team will see. So for me, this is a late return policy and this is going to be sent uh, each time a customer picks up an order. And so this is only viewable when adding uh, from the orders page rather, but you can have this email template come up when you're sending documents. There's an email link there when you send a document and you can have this as a invoice email template or a quote or contract email template. Um, but for me, I will just have that on the order screen. And then what the customer will see is the late return policy subject line with my business name. And then all of the text. So I have pre-written out this email template. I've added in my variables from this link here and some free text, and I will save this. And then when we click onto a new order and click the send email box here, it should appear as a template with all of the customer's uh, information. So both setting up automatic emails and creating manual email templates allow you to avoid writing out lengthy emails, um, repeating tasks, and reduce the risk of human error with sending out the wrong order number or product price, for example. 
and in this page you can click the link to the Help Center article to learn more.